Well, Elliot Whale made a real statement in Telford six weeks ago, became the first fighter to stop the durable Fernando Mosquera inside the distance. 20 others a try, and he lands an early right hand here against Joseba Diaz. And Whale has grown into his power. He stopped his last four opponents, three of them here. And he's climbing up those welterweight rankings. He's looking to make another statement here, Barry Jones. Yeah, what I like about Whale, he's very composed with his work. He's always looking to be busy, always looking for that, for that knockout punch if he can find it. But mainly, he keeps that structure really well, works with that good softball jab and is patient with his work and at six foot one he is enormous at the weight as well which certainly helps with the power first fight outside of spain for joseba diaz who's seven and one himself so it's not here just to be an opponent it's not here just to be a pushover but what's more important that seven one he avenges his defeat and i think that's very important to him to the, the amendment he had there, he got it right the second time round, so... And he avenged it quickly as well, he lost against Olmo de Paz on April Fool's Day last year and then beat him six weeks later, both of those on points. Shows, as you say, ability to adapt and great strength of character too, and he's showing that here, good right hand from Diaz. Yeah. Already got the makings of a good scrap this. Yeah, we'll just stop using that softball jab and that's just the loads. Just though he has a little bit of momentum there, just with that right hand, that left hook, jumping in from out of distance. That's better there from Whale though. That jab's important there, just to stop any forward mo movement there from Diaz. Got to keep in second guessing. That's a lovely little turn as well there. A little step and pivot there from Whale. Right hook there from Whale, and good foot movement again. And he's able to do that, Dave, because he's getting that right foot outside the front foot there, there of Diaz. So when he throws that jab or he rolls, he can, he can roll out and spin. See, when you are a tall fighter like he is, you can, you can punch from further out, which means you can control everything with that jab, everything. Diaz is looking for that left hook as Whale came in. takes a risk or two, Whale, which makes it exciting to watch. Well, when he's got himself in trouble a couple of times here, when he's done that, backed himself up onto the ropes. When he when he's plants his flag, plants his flag to set the ring, will get the jab, pushes Diaz back, he looks the better fighter of the two. there of shiny Singh in the corner Walsall based he knew him very well from the amateurs Elliot well from an England amateur coach four fights with him now and they've gone pretty well great relationship they've got the pressure here from Diaz at the start of the second round a, a different tact here from Diaz what he's doing is he's, he's willing to take the jab on the gloves and fire straight off it Take it, take a little, little half a step, close that distance and throw that left, that right hand of his own. Again, it's the same, the same problem there with, with Whale. Backing himself up onto the ropes, puts himself in a bit of trouble. This already looks, for us anyway, like a very good bit of matchmaking. You want an action-packed fight. Here at the York Hall, I think this is the one for you. Over six. Just lovely bit of work there from Will. Nice one, two. Little pivot. Back into the centre of the ring and straight back on that jab again. And he needs Elephant. He needs a bit of work here because he's Diaz has a really good start to the round. Real breakthrough win here against Darren Tetley last December here. Season Southpaw from Bradford. That felt like a, a big step for Whale and great steps from him there. Yeah, there's a lovely uppercut there from Whale just before he took a move round goes back to the centre of the ring again there. He does that so well. But the uppercut was absolutely beautiful. 
Slashing right to the body there from Jose, but Diaz had a left hook from him. Tries to follow that in, the Spaniard. Good work there from Diaz, just didn't move that, didn't move the feet in a little bit. Never close to the target there, Diaz. Just got to keep that pressure in him, Will. Keep him making mistakes. Lovely long left hand there from Whale, using all of that height and reach advantage. That's better. Thought you were going to leave it out there, but that was good there. He did the movement with his feet there and then made Diaz pay. Diaz having to work hard to try and get close here to Whale. And well, just keeping him at range. Good well, left hook though there from Diaz. Will walk on to that one. Good start, isn't it? Round three. Well, I was going to say it's nice to see you, Barry. You've walked into a whirlwind of a fight here. That's a great, great first two rounds, isn't it? it? Really is. And these are the fights you need. These competitive fights. This, you're nine to know these are the fights people who've got to test you, come to win, make you make get the best out of you, force the best out of you. You want to move up the rankings if you want to be a player. You want to look for titles. You've got to win fights like this, and you've got to be matched like this. Because when you step up the level, when you step up the championship levels, all fights are like this. It's nice. Marking under that right eye, by the way, of Jose Badiaz, swelling already. That's that left hand of Elliot Whale. There it is again there, he just looped it round the, round the right hand guard there of Diaz. This is better, didn't he, when he takes the centre of the ring. Did they need to get the front foot too close though here, Whale? Do they need to shorten that distance? You can push it back behind the long shots. Don't need to get too close. Gotta get lower here, Diaz, I feel. If he wants to try and make push Whale back, get lower, faint a little bit. Jump in from that low centre of gravity. Wales got fans in here tonight. You could probably hear there's some real ticket sellers on this card. Good natural movement there from Wales. And a lovely one too as well. That's a great, everything was good there. The jab, the footwork, getting up with the feet. Boxing really well in this round here, Will. Just a sense maybe that the feet of Diaz have slowed up. Wales landed some good shots here and we know how heavy handed he is. Again, it's just a little bit of a tell to the work here that Diaz. He threw a shot that worked for him in the, in the first two rounds. And this round, I think he just slowed a little bit. And Wales been able to read some of the work here from Diaz. These fights, though, Barry, when you learn on the job, and that's what Wales doing and adapting so well. Great work from him again there. We have to take a shot, though, there after landing a good right hook. And again, good shot. Legs were tangled there of Diaz for a moment. It's a good left hand though from Whale. Those punches are starting to have an effect here on Diaz. Right hand from Whale, terrific work to close out this round.
set us out to round four. It's a great action fight this. Round four of a schedule six, Elliot Well. Southpaw here, the taller man against the Spaniard, Joseba Diaz. Well, having a really, really outstanding second half of that third round. Can he put his foot on the gas here and try and uh, get what would be the best stoppage win on his record if he could get this fella out of there? Just going to find the second gear here somewhere, Diaz. Just going to be a little bit of tiger practice in that last round. Just needs a bit more pressure there on, on Will. You get a bit lower and engage those, those big muscles in your legs. Give him a bit of a spring to prepare yourself forward. He's a really good, accurate shot though from where he isn't wasting too much left hook from him there. And then a combination. And those one two right on the pipe, they, even if they're not really rocking you, they're just draining your energy. They're really heavy, correct shots. And he rocks the head back again there. And the mouth of Diaz is wide open now. Right hook there from Well. Diaz is starting to fade here. That was a little flurry, but Wales taking over. And, and he's, he's maintaining that distance here, Well, Look, just everything, almost everything that Diaz throws can't find the target, but he can always find the home for his shots. Not getting too close to that front foot. The legs buckle there, straight left hand, then a right hand from Wales. I think Wales senses weakness here. The punches start to rain in. Diaz tries to fight his way off the rope. Another brilliant left hook there from Wales. Great sustained pressure, but now Diaz comes back at it. What a fight back there from Diaz. Lovely body shot. He's one tough man, this Spaniard, but sent sprawling. He's a push though. Amy Poo, our referee, spotted that. Good spot, actually. Because there was a punch in there somewhere as well, but it was the right ball. But you can see how Diaz is looking. It was barely a touch when that pushed him over. 30 seconds to go in this fourth round. Diaz looking at the referee there. Marking under both eyes now. Wales senses his opponent is desperately tired here. Diaz staggers back. Ten seconds remain in the round. Diaz looks battered and beleaguered here. Fantastic pressure. Another clean shot from Wales. The end of the round can't come soon enough. Round from Elliot Whale Barry. That was just a fantastic display for Elliot Whale of sustained pressure. He didn't rush his work. Every shot found a home. Every shot. Oh, Diaz is still standing. I don't know. Unbelievable. And just so tired there. Throws a shot there, Whale. This is a little push there, I think, with the forearm from Elliot Whale. Just when he missed, there you go. Barely a push. How exhausted Diaz is. But a, a real good round there for Elliot Whale. We were both looking at the Diaz corner, both during that round, towards the end of it, and in between rounds. They've got to keep looking at their fighter here, for me anyway, Barry. Yeah, it's funny, see, because he's never, look, he's never looked like he's going to go down or anything like that, but he's, he's sick. Goes down there, right Three, on cue. Four, and how five, much does he have six, left? Seven, eight. Couple of very, very heavy breaths. He's looking at his corner again. To me, he wants out. Amy Poo has a long look. To me, he wants out. The corner are letting him carry on, and so is our referee. Down he goes again. Two, three, four, Job surely five, done here. Six, he seven, hasn't got anything eight, left. Nine, Jose Diaz is counted out. Another stoppage win for Elliot Wells. And now the corner go and help Diaz I think that went on a touch too long but Whale got the job done and in the end Diaz went 
down so quickly the second time. Hopefully no harm done there, Barry. No, I, 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 ironically, I think in the end, it was body shot that, that did him, which is a saving grace. So I think the sustained feet that he took in the round previous were all headshots. I mean, there's a worry for that. But then, those shots, once the body, you can just see, he, he got a... But he just couldn't get, he couldn't get his breathing because he couldn't get those deep breaths. He really could. It's a lovely, look at that, it's a lovely hook there. Just as the right elbow lifts up, he finds a home for that little left hook there. Elliot Wells, a beautiful shot, just catches tears as he's throwing. The diaphragm's high, so great shot. He, and he got up, but he couldn't take a proper deep breath. That's so why it looked like he didn't want to, he didn't want to know. Just couldn't get the breath back into his lungs. So all it took there was a half a shot there from, from Will. There's the shot there. Normally, that he would, that wouldn't even phase him. He's already hurt around that, around that mid drift, and and then a job done there from Elliot Will. And the sustained beating for the headshot, it was the body shots that did it then in the next round. I thought that was a standout performance there from Elliot Will, a real live opponent who showed in his first two rounds how dangerous he could be, and Will controlled it with a solid jab, patience, accuracy, judgment of distance, and ultimately in the end, a little bit of power, Dave. Absolutely, and they're letting, quite rightly, Jose Diaz, who is up on the stool, but they're allowing him time to recover. The doctor is having a good look. Elliot Whale is full of class, of course, so just allows his opponent to recover. There's no over-the-top celebrations here, but he is going to be a really interesting fighter to watch going forward. The big deep breaths being taken there by Diaz, just trying to get breath back into him. And just of course checking that he's okay, and here he is, proud man. And a very watchable fighter, but he's run into someone here tonight, just a couple of levels above. And Whale did the job and broke him down, but while it lasted, certainly the opening three rounds, that was richly entertaining. I, I, I thought the first two rounds were enthralling, weren't they? It was really entertaining, very close as well, you know, they both having a go. But then Will took over and ended up being just a fantastic display of everything there from Elliot Will. He chose a little bit of everything and I think that's a little stand-up performance from him. Well, we'll try and call the fighters in here so we can uh, just make things official and let's get to Paul Booth now. Ladies and gentlemen, the official end of this contest falls at 52 seconds of round number five. Joseph R. Diaz fails to beat the count of referee Amy Pugh. The official decision is a KO. He's still undefeated as a professional boxer from Sidcup Kent, Elliot Wales.